actually what a lot of us want to know. And now we're getting answers from the book, Secrets Self-Made Millionaires Teach Their Kids. The author joins us now. Steve Siebold is here. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, so friends. you've got so much great advice in this book. Let's begin with this concept that we kind of make our kids scared about money. And I think we are in many ways like, oh, we're going to run out. And you yeah. say, don't think about money in that way. Yeah, we're, we're, we're brought up with so much fear around money from teachers, you know, clergy, coaches, parents, all these people that are that have never had any money that are terrifying kids about it and making it like a necessary evil. Well, money is a very positive thing. It can help your life, make it easier. Right, and you say money's not evil. Right. Money is a great thing. It creates opportunity. It creates comfort. I mean, it can take you around the world. It can save your life. It can make your dreams come true. It's all positive. It can make your dreams come true. However, money is not the mm -hmm. only thing that makes you happy. And I think that's something that you say is important to teach your kids. Absolutely not. There's, there's very little correlation with happiness and money. After $70,000 a year in income, there's no correlation at all between happiness and money. And a lot of studies have been done on this. One of the things you say is important is to, to set expectations, what you can achieve. Hard work doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be rich. Right. Well, uh, believe it or not, a lot of uh, si child psychologists encourage parents to, to have their kids set their expectations low in America, if you can believe that or not, because so for fear of being disappointed. Right. And we say, have them set their expectations high. That's what built this country, high expectations. And the idea that setbacks and adversity are not necessarily a bad thing, not something that means you have to change direction in what you're doing. Exactly right. Adversity, I mean, these people, the, the self-made rich, I've been interviewing these people for 34 years, since 1984. They literally fail themselves to success. They fa most of the time they fail. They hit one home run and everyone thinks they're a genius. But most of the time, the, the truth is they're not. They're just people that fail their way to success. They're persistent. Well, let's talk about the kids in this generation because failure is something that's very difficult for them. This is the generation that grew up. Everybody gets a trophy. We feel a little entitled. And you say, that's a myth. They're not entitled. And what can we do to make them understand <laughs> oh, no, that? We were talking off, off camera about this, yeah. So we might disagree a little bit, but uh, there, may, there may have been a little bit of the everyone gets a trophy, but I think that millennials are being beat up. This, remember, this is the most educated generation in the history of the world. These kids are smart, or adults, not kids, are smart, uh, they know what they want, and maybe maybe there's been a little bit of coddling in there, but we were probably coddled too much, too. My, I remember my grandparents and parents saying the same things about us. So. Well, one of the things you say is each generation likes to diss exactly. the last Exactly right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, they walk 10 miles in the snow and all the rest of it, right? That's right, yeah. 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 So we have to tell them they can be successful, but maybe not necessarily better than us. One yeah. of the things is education, because as your kids go through this process of trying to apply to schools, you know, there definitely seems to be a hierarchy, and everyone thinks the only way I'm really going to be a millionaire, the only way I'm going to be successful is if I go to an Ivy League school or, or a better school. Right. And of course, if you can go to an Ivy League school, God bless you, go to an Ivy League school. You know, I mean, it's if a your great parents thing. Can pay the tuition. Your parents can pay the tuition, exactly right. But that being said, I mean, most self-made millionaires, uh, many self-made millionaires are, are, are dropouts. And we're not encouraging that, of course, because it's not a good idea. But at the same time, it's more, about, it's more about focus, it's more about determination and persistence than it is any education you'll ever get. When do you think is the best time to begin the conversations about money? I would say probably 12 or 13 years old. I, I wrote this book for parents to read with their kids, not to their kids or, or to have the kids read the book or the parents read the book separately, but with their kids. And we actually, we, we actually give them a free workbook, an 80-page workbook as well, so they can fill in the, the answers. As a keepsake, they'll keep for the rest of their lives, hopefully. And it's not just concepts. It's practical things as well. I mean, exactly setting right. the budget and things like that. Talk oh, about all that. those things. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's everything from, you know, from handling money to the psychology of money. But really, it leans more toward the psychology of money because that's really where the breakdown occurs. That's what we found. It's really more about expecting it going after it, realizing that you're smart enough to become a self-made millionaire, even though people, a lot of people are saying you're, you're not. Most people are. I've interviewed over 1,200 of them. Most of them are average people, just like, you know, you and I. Well, if people are reading the book and they say, oh, no, I have not done all of these things. If you're not living it, do you think you can teach it? Oh, absolutely. That, and that, again, that's, it's really from 34 years of interviews. So all I'm doing really is passing on all this information that I started acquiring 34 years ago. And so you don't have to be a millionaire. You don't have to have any money. Just all, all I would say to parents is don't, don't, if you have limiting beliefs about money, you don't want to pass those on to your, your kids because they'll struggle with their in their lives uh, with money for no reason. And, and the richest country in the history of the world where the streets are paved with gold. 
And don't we want our kids always to be more successful than we ever sure. were? Thank sure. you so much. This gives us good advice to try to help them do just that. <laughs> Thanks for having me. The book is called Secrets Self-Made Millionaires Teach Their Kids. For more information, visit thesecretsbook.com, and we'll have a link on our webpage as well at wgntv.com slash midday.